recording. Yeah. Just wanted to catch you the action on Tinder. <laughs> That's true. No, I wasn't. I was actually stalking on Instagram. Not Tinder. <laughs> All right. I don't even use it. Believable. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's still making noise, so <laughs> nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was still wearing a bloody toque. <laughs> anyway, it's been beanie. it's been ages. So where we're at currently is still in Vancouver, still in Canada. It's technically spring right now. Is it? Um, yeah, I think it's like, the twenty first. Oh, what's the date? Yeah, the twenty second. I think. Oh, <laughs> today's the twenty fifth, mate. Oh, it's well into spring. <laughs> it's, it's well. <laughs> we got four days of spring under our belts. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how into spring we are. <laughs> and it's um, it's bloody bloody nice to be honest. It's it's been really nice weather the last like week and a bit. I mean, today was semi average. It was it's it's raining, it's raining currently. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's rain everywhere, all over the roof. Um, so yeah, essentially we have not moved. Um, we decided um the end of last year after our Kickstarter campaign that we would put a big halt. On all things retail salt until the snow melted, the sun came out and shined down its praise onto this little blue thing. Main, there was a whole bunch of reasons essentially why we ultimately decided to be like, yeah, nah. Let's, yeah. Um, well, we- weather's a weather's a huge one. Um, me myself, I've been working on this project a, a lot longer behind the scenes than what everybody's seen on camera. Um, before we got to Alaska last year, I was going hard with Brett building the van. Before that, uh, I was sort of running around the country doing lots of stuff. Before that, I broke up with my girlfriend. Before that, my uncle died and I had to go back to Australia to sort of run around and organize all of that sort of stuff. So I just felt like in the year or even preceding that, I just never really had the chance to have just a break. And um, I was really feeling it. Um, Maybe not just because of all of those things, but there's a lot of stuff, I guess, that's happened in my life that have, that's developed the person that I am. And um, yeah, they, I just really started feeling a bit heavy and um, burnt out for sure. Burnout was a big thing because of the project. But yeah, definitely mentally, I was sort of feeling a little bit. So um, that was a huge deciding factor into why we were stopping. And me and Keeg sort of discuss it and your mental health is very, very important. And I don't think enough people really talk about it um, openly. And fortunately, like I'm on the other side of, I guess, the depression and um, going back home for me in the winter is, which is what I did for, in the sun and familiarity with family and, um, and also to get help, professional help <clears throat> was the right decision to do at the time. So I've been back and now I'm back and I'm feeling a lot better and, smiley faces and happy and um a, a lot more balanced and um and ready to tackle the next part of this journey so um that's that's where i've been and and that's what we've been doing up until now we want to have fun on this yeah. road trip mm-hmm. as well as you know do good things with it yeah. um and so the sun and exercise are two you know yeah. such important things for the both of us uh, especially being living in a, growing up in Australia, um, so doing this, you know, this trip down the west coast of of the US in peak summer is just much more of an attractive idea yeah. than doing it as quickly as possible. Ago. Just to keep going, and we were stuck on the side of the road in, in Alaska. We had no idea what was going on. We had ran out of cold. food. It was Minus really 11. cold. It was very cold. And it was fun. And we look back on it now, and we think, oh my god, like what a time, and what a time of our lives. Um, but I tell you at the time we were, we were sort of, you know, pushing ourselves yeah. to a limit and I've actually had lots of friends and family come up to me afterwards and say, look, I don't know how you're doing it. This is crazy. And, you know, it brings it into reality, even though it, it, it is fun and it's what we want to be doing for sure. But sometimes you just need a break and you need to get back into some sort of, um, positive cycle or positive rhythm of life and, 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 and start enjoying it again. Like, well, not that we never enjoyed it, but enjoying it as much as you possibly can. Yeah. That's what life's about. So essentially we we want to be a hundred percent focused <laughs> on YouTube and the documentary once we're on the road again. So there's a whole bunch of like loose ends we need to tie off while we're still here in Canada, um, before we enter back onto the road again, which is why we're here for the next couple of weeks. Yep. Um, whole bunch of carpentry work. We've been cracking out at the last like week or so. It's been 
<laughs> Good progress. Yeah, we've got some cupboards up here. You can't see them. We're going to do a van tour eventually. I know you guys want it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, lots of people are like, we want to see what you guys live in. And I kind of don't want to show you guys an unfinished product. It looks lovely in here as it is. But um, for me, I guess I want to show a standard to the world of... <laughs> Uh, better and it's going to be done very soon we just we just need a few more things to fall into place before we can completely finish the van we got to paint the out exterior of the van that's yeah. going to be like a three-day job sand the whole thing back paint the thing put the decal of root del sol on the side that's going to be super exciting make it look pretty from the outside <laughs> uh the toilet and the shower uh mum asked me every every week <laughs> oh can you get, uh, get the shower fixed and i'm like it, it's not even fix there's nothing to fix that we got to make we got to build it yeah um to seal that whole room there's this crap in there at the moment like timber left over like off cuts of timber and like our ladders and stuff so we got to <laughs> get that out he's got a snowboard we got to sell that thing i did go for a sneaky he's snowboard a friend, so. when i got back but um oh yeah yeah it was fun whistler you're off taps what a good <laughs> hill to uh, to snowboard on um organize the kickstarter pledges uh we ordered our shirts yeah the shirts are super excited they yeah. look awesome um we went through the proofs and everything looked hunky dory so we went ahead <laughs> <Dory. laughs> we're paying each other's oh. language out yeah we, we we paid for them so they're on the way to you guys um don't know. I can't even really give you a good estimate of when you should expect. Depends them. what country. Yeah. And, like country. We've we've. I we're think gonna... there's about seven or eight different countries that have people specifically have um, bought shirts. Which is super excited. We're gonna have a bunch of leftovers. We're gonna be selling them on the road. We're gonna ha um, hand yeah, deliver a few of them too to the people that we're gonna be seeing on the way. So, um, hopefully that's you, and hopefully we get to give you a big old hug with a shirt. But otherwise, if you receive our shirt in the mail, much love. Thanks so much for your support. Yeah. Um, there's other things too that we have to fulfill. We have uh, prints of um, photos, canvases, yeah. canvases of the of the trip. So you've all selected uh, certain pictures that you want to hang on your wall for us. So that'd be cool. Got to make a bunch of songs, poetry. Um, <laughs> poetry, yeah. Like there's so many of these things that um, Instagram shout outs off. are rolling out too. So, yeah, yeah. Just a big, huge thanks. I mean, we've already said it before, but um, you guys are kickstarter community that helped us out and anybody that's following along or whatever or helped to share our stuff around and and helped us get those pledges just a huge thanks um once again oh uh, like i don't know i don't even have words huge yeah. it, it makes me so happy to know that yeah. someone believes in something that i be that i started and then keegan came on board and we just ran this thing together and and yeah it's really cool to know that there's lots of people out there supporting it so so yeah. big love big it's love so thanks love. thanks Pete. jolly's sister's getting married oh yeah big shout out to uh crystal and ben yeah. um they actually supported us in our kickstarter campaign too huge love to you guys love his heaps um i wouldn't miss it for the world love my sister to death so um it's a big deal first sibling in our family to get married and um i'm actually walking her down the aisle so i gotta fly back to australia and um and go and spend some time with her for a wedding and, and see that big milestone in their life. So um, that's happening at the end of April and I should be there and back early May-ish, I guess. But yeah, big, big And then deal. literally Jolly flies in, pick him up from the airport and we're on the road Yeah, and we're out of here. Yeah, so we're hoping for clear skies um early may I'd weather, say. weather pocket we're hoping for a <laughs> sunny weather pocket king calls it a weather pocket i call it a high pressure system um I'm over with weather pocket. he likes weather pocket just sun we want sun so our, our solar panels uh feel nice and energized the crystals inside get all excited and they start producing <laughs> voltaic energy you know what yeah all that sort of goodness nothing wrong with personification <laughs> man nothing wrong with it. no he's good um <laughs> he's good he's good he's good where keegan's good so yeah <laughs> Good, Keegan's good. He's good shit. I'm gonna keep him around. <laughs> L permanently on the road. Yep. Um, everyone's like, "Where are we going? What's the route?" Blah, blah, blah. It's pre pretty much we're just aiming straight for the beach, <laughs> straight for the surf. Um, yeah, so, and it's like Seattle, Portland yeah. beach. Yeah. Cru cruise down that coastline, Olympia, Ashland, yeah. to catch up with Solar Roller mm -hmm. again, and that team down there. Yeah. Duck into Yosemite for a bit, San Fran, Sacramento. I'm, this is not an order anymore, but a little bit of LA, <laughs> Joshua Tree, dip into Baja, California. Yeah. That's a very quick update. Yeah, we got um, we got a big agenda coming up. There's lots of people we're collaborating with, and I feel like this big this summer is going to be huge for, for Root Del Sol and and the way that we we project ourselves moving forward. And 
um, the Yeah Nah sessions are coming up next. <laughs> yeah, look forward to Yeah Nah. Yeah Nah Nah, yeah? <laughs> we got we got some good shit coming out. Alright, we got some good stuff coming. Peace.